Employer user onboarding has typically been a manual and time-intensive task that requires multiple employees or teams to swivel chair to get the job done. To onboard just one user, teams need to configure multiple disparate systems requiring manual data entry and general toil. At Pliant, we can simplify the entire process with a single workflow that allows you to predefine rules and onboard employees or users into a myriad of systems that your organization leverages for access and productivity. The best part? Once you configure the process with Pliant, onboarding a user, or a thousand, can be done with a single click of a button. Here's how it works. In this example, we can specify their username, plus an email address to notify our hiring manager once the new hire has been provisioned. Here we enter the new user's title and other basic information, all of which is customizable to your environment. Lastly, we choose which system the new user should have access to, and then all we need to do is press Submit. As you can see, the front-end experience is simple, but it kicks off a sophisticated back-end powered by our low-code workflow automation engine. So here's where you ask, what does this powerful low-code workflow automation engine look like anyway? Well, here it is. We start with a clean canvas to build a simple low-code automation to provision these new employees directly and in a way that suits your business. This workflow will trigger that build process, and though it isn't as straightforward as the form we just showed, it's about as easy as automation gets. To automate email address configuration, we go to the Google Action Block and find the relevant API call that we'd like to invoke. Here's where the magic comes in. We simply drag and drop the low-code action block from the right-hand side of the canvas into the workflow editor. We then continue to do this sequentially for each system we look to onboard a new user. Another example would be Azure Active Directory. Then perhaps we want to add the user into a Slack directory. For any of these low-code workflows, we receive a RESTful endpoint that we can then call in order to provision these new users. Here's the equivalent URL command to call in, in order to initiate the user onboarding automation. Now the automation on the previous screen from that simple user interface can call this RESTful endpoint and provision any number of users that we'd like. But this is just an example. In the real world, using this methodology, we can build far more sophisticated user onboarding workflows. Take, for example, a call center employee, where we'd like to grant access to all the different systems they need to get their job done. A workflow like this can figure their email, Slack, Google Sheets, employee rosters, and get them set up in the HR system as well. It can provision them in their own virtual desktop by creating a fixed IP address from a given range. We can update the DNS with this new record and provision them with a Linux or Windows virtual desktop, assign the IP, and email the new employee and their manager all the relevant details, accounts, and systems they need to hit the ground running on day one. To learn more about how to simplify user onboarding, visit pliant.io today.